Right, noob, let's it is time to progress on to the next level. So we will be heading on over to this left hand side chest first because it is quite a bit cheaper than heading up there, mainly because of the two fights that we can do. But when we start getting into level four, that's when things start getting a little bit tougher because the elements that we can use are very, very... They're starting to become either two to four elements worth now. Even a couple of the fights on these levels are really, really, uh, let's say, limited in the dragons that we can use. But level four and onwards is where things start to get really serious. So will it be in this chest? What do? Yes, it was. Feels good, boys. So look, Ned, the Vivid Dragon wants to come with us. I can't wait to show it around Dragolandia. Uh, hi, Vivid Dragon. D do you come in peace? Wow, what a guy. How could you say that? It's like, do you come in peace? Just because it looks different doesn't mean you have to treat it like a literal alien. So, whoa, this is almost exactly like depths of Mount, of Mount Dragolympus. Sorry, I cannot read. I am so destroyed today. But if Hogwin saw this, I'd knock his socks off. Speaking of socks coming off, it's hot in here. Where's all that lava coming from? Are we in space? What's happening? I mean, we are in a time rift right now, so legit anything can happen. And again, I need to point out how brilliant this runic dragon statue looks. Like, actually. What is this dragon? Does anyone know what dragon this is? This doesn't look like any dragon I've ever seen. Does it? Maybe I'm being bamboozled. Either way, that, that dragon looked weird. But we need to go ahead and fight Mr. Chrono Hades for now. So, yes, who champs? I'm back with the Hades dragon. Could have, um, stuff that's underground, maybe. Bran, that's not the Hades dragon. The Hermes dragon doesn't even recognize it. It's from somewhere else. We don't know what it's capable of. We should probably call it something else, right? Oh, how about Chrono Hades, you know, because of Kronos? And that is how Chrono Hades got his name. It was that simple. Oh, he was just like, um, let's name it after Kronos. There you go. Go free, Chrono Hades. And Brant, you go on home. I'm sure your parents wouldn't want you playing in a time rift. I am not playing and you can't catch me. <laughs> Somehow he's worse than the Vikings. Very true. I don't know what's gotten into him, to be honest. So, obviously the cheapest chest that we can really get to right now is this one right at the bottom. So we are going to go and claim that one. But then moving on up, the chests up here cost a, a very large amount to open up. So if we can get the key in this chest here or this chest here on the left hand side room, that would be fantastic. Because I really, really do not want to have to go all the way up to the top. Because again, the chest costs for these two are extortionate, along with everything else. So, you know, it would it does look really cheap to go through this path, but it's only 266 and then the chest cost itself to go up this way. So we're going to open up this one, then we are going to move on. But at this point, we have been 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5, and 4 out of 5 for where we found the keys. So the game could have been a lot nicer to us than it was. Like, I've seen people with 1 out of 5, 1 out of 5, 1 out of 5 already for this event. So, game. I'm hoping that on level 4, maybe in the second chest, if you do that for me, I'm going to be eternally grateful. But, you know, this is what I always say. I managed to breed all the dragons that I want. Like, we got tons of Ares dragons this month. But in response to me overusing all of my good luck, what ends up happening is instead it ends up screwing me over during the castle events. So is that fair? That sounds fair to me, don't you think? Like, what would you rather have? Would you rather have a really easy castle event or would you rather get four Ares dragons in a month? Because I genuinely don't know. Because the thing is, the longer it takes you to progress in the castle event, the tougher the event becomes as a whole because it means you get less resets, it means you get less points because of the way that, you know, the old version style of events work, which is unfortunately the way that this one works because when they revamped the castle events, they made it so that you could earn the same amount of event currency at any rank. So it meant that even if your chest RNG was super, super awful, 
It meant that you weren't penalized just through random chance. And then they decided, oh, well that's a problem. Now everything's fair. Let's get rid of that mechanic. Don't know why. Maybe it's because they wanted more money, whatever it was. But either way, it is less fair to the players now. Again, I loved the way that they changed the castle events in the past. Although I will say that there have been alterations made to the amount of points that you earned for certain quests, like collecting creatures, and the amount of points that you get for breeding now. So, they have made improvements in different ways in this event, but unfortunately I don't think it completely makes up for the fact that they had the event perfect between, you know, still keeping the event difficult but making it fair for everyone, but, you know, I guess they decided that that didn't generate enough event currency purchases at the end of the day. So, we are left with what we have now, which is unfortunately something that is very, very unfair to anyone that has to open up, you know, five out of five chests or whatever. And the keys are random. I know everyone's been saying, yeah, well, I got the key in the same chest as you. <laughs> yeah, dude, that doesn't mean it's not random. Because I don't think I've ever really explained this before, but I believe the way that the chests work is that you have x percent chance of getting a key in your first chest like let's say you've got a 10 percent chance of getting a key in your first chest that you open you open up the first one you don't get that 10 percent then you have to go to the second chest and then in the second chest you have a 25 percent chance of getting the key in that second chest you open it up you don't get the 25 percent you go to the third chest and then in the third chest there's like a 60% chance that you can get the key out of it. Again, that's just an example, that's not the real odds, but that is why sometimes it might seem like you're getting the same odds as someone else, or the same chest, because we know which chests are the cheapest. So people are gonna go to the cheapest chest first, which means that you're gonna have the same odds of getting a key in that chest as they did, so if there was an 80% chance of you getting the key in your third chest on that level, then most people are going to end up getting it on the third chest in that level, for example. So to all of you asking, which chest is the cheapest? Then, you know, I will go through that. Or oh, I've already gone through it. I, I don't know what order the videos are going up in. But as long as you know which chests are the cheapest, that is the most important thing about these events. But say, you know, we're on this level, we're on level 4, we want to open this chest. I don't know what the exact odd is, but there might be a 5% chance that we can get the key in this first chest. It can happen! So, rather than the chest just being or rather than you thinking that the key is just randomly in one of these chests, think about it more so, when you open the chest you are drawing from odds, essentially. Again, I believe that that's the way that the chests work, and I did see a lot of people doing, you know, uh, investigations into the drop chances and stuff like that, and it seems like that is the most plausible case, because it's not just like they put a key in this chest and then you have to go over and open it. That's why a lot of the time you'll be like, yeah, well, I went to the far right chest and I got the same key as them. Yeah, well, the guy next to me didn't get the same one as me. So how do you explain that? Again, there's people in the Discord and other social media that post, you know, where they got their keys. And just because you've got your key in the same place as me, doesn't mean that that's the same for every single person. It might work once, but if it's not the case for every single player, then obviously that is not the rule. So I hope that makes sense for anyone that was confused about that. Maybe it's just the wording, the way that the game presents it. I don't know what, but, you know, there are very particular mechanics for different things in this game that work in certain ways, and the game never really tells us what those mechanics are. It just says, find the key. And that's pretty much all the info that people have. So I don't really blame players for not understanding how these things work. But it does get tiring that after four years of playing DML, still to this day,
people are commenting saying, show me where the keys are. You're not making guides on where the keys are. You're, you're bad. It's like, that's because you, you, you can't do guides like that. Otherwise the DML wiki would put them up instantly. And there you go, everyone would finish the event in like three days because everyone would get it in their first chest. No, that's not how it works. It is worse for Gameloft if they make it non-RNG reliant, so trust me, whenever they can throw the RNG in there, they will do so. But regardless, we have moved on to the next level. We just need to keep grinding event currency for now, so, you know, good luck. Make sure you're logging in. This event is tight. It is tight. You can't really be affording to miss resets, is all I'm going to say. You'll see when you get to level 6. But regardless, thank you for watching, and until next time, I shall see you then.